Okay, so here's a question for you. What if everything you've been taught about solving problems is actually wrong? I mean, most of us solve problems by analogy. We look at what other people have done before us and copy it. It feels safe, it feels fast, but it also really limits us. Now imagine instead that you could peel away every assumption, every that's how it's always been done until you were left with the raw truths, if you will, and reality. And from there, rebuild entirely new solutions. This is called first principles thinking. And it's a skill behind Elon Musk's SpaceX rockets, Tesla's batteries, and even the way researchers push the boundaries of artificial intelligence. And today I wanna to share with you not just why it's powerful, but even more so how you can use it yourself. I went down a rabbit hole with this and I find it fascinating. First up though, what is principles thinking? Let's start at the beginning. The idea comes from Aristotle. He said that to truly understand something, you have to break it down to its first principles, the most basic, undeniable truths. You can kind of think it like this. Imagine you're building with Lego. Reasoning by analogy means you look at someone else's Lego spaceship and say, okay, I'll build mine the same way, maybe just with a few tweaks. Reasoning with first principles or first principles thinking is different. You take the spaceship apart, lay all the bricks on the table and ask yourself, what do I have here? What's the fundamental purpose? Then you build something completely new. Maybe it's not even a spaceship, maybe a robot or a bridge or something that nobody has even thought of yet. That is the core of the first principles. Instead of accepting the surface level solution, you zoom in on the truths underneath. And it turns out this approach isn't just philosophical, it's incredibly practical, especially in tech. I mean, when you think about it from Aristotle to Elon Musk, fast forward a couple thousands of years and let's look at Elon Musk specifically. So this I found really interesting when I was reading. Musk first started SpaceX, the cost of rockets was absurdly high. I mean, everyone in the industry told him that's just how it is. And if he had accepted that analogy, he would have quit right there. But instead, he asked himself, what is a rocket really? At the end of the day, it's just made of aluminum, titanium, copper, and say, carbon fiber. So Musk literally priced out the raw materials on the market and discovered something really shocking. Those materials cost maybe 2% of the final rocket price. The rest was markup and tradition, if you will. So by reasoning from first principles, not by analogy, SpaceX figured out how to build rockets for a fraction of the cost. And I mean, that's how they disrupted aerospace. That's really cool, by the way. And he applied that same logic at Tesla. I mean, back then, batteries were thought to be too expensive to even make electrical cars, or at least make them mainstream. Everyone repeated the same line to him. Battery costs will always be too high. But Musk asked instead, what are batteries actually made of? nickel, cobalt, aluminum, polymers. He then went back to the fundamentals, questioned the design and helped drive down the costs. The result, electrical vehicles went from niche to mainstream. Okay, I wanna give you a really interesting analogy here though. So how do we use this way of thinking for ourselves? This is the analogy I really like to come back to. So imagine you have a tank, a motorboat and a bicycle. If you think by analogy, you'll just try to improve the tank by making the armor stronger or improve the bike by adding gears. But if you break down each into components, treads, motors, say handlebars, you can recombine them into something entirely new. Suddenly you invent a snowmobile. That is the magic of first principles, decomposition and creative recombination. Now, it's really important to note there are actual mental tools you can use to do this. And this is the five whys method, if you will. And you literally in this, five, in this method, you ask why five times in a row. For example, why is my software build slow? Because the pipeline is say bloated. Why? Because it loads redundant dependencies. Why? Because we never updated our library management. So you basically keep peeling back until you reach the real root. Socratic questioning. This is about challenging the assumptions by asking, what do we know for sure? What if the opposite were true? What evidence supports this? Both are practical and both are ways of forcing your brain out of this analogy mode and into the fundamentals. This is really cool if you ask me and if you can change your brain to think in this way, you're going to be so far ahead. 
And I mean, it goes back to why does this matter? Because first principles thinking isn't just a clever little trick or game for your mind. It's literally a competitive advantage. I mean, at SpaceX, employees are trained to ignore the standard way of doing things and to rebuild solutions from the ground up. That's why we were able to iterate on rocket designs faster than NASA. I mean, this company came out of nowhere, despite having a fraction of the resources. But Okay, we're using rockets a lot in this example or in this video, but it's not just this. This mindset really shows up everywhere. As I mentioned earlier, Tesla, it's how they reimagined car manufacturing. In AI, it's how researchers move from rule-based expert systems to neural networks, and then from recurrent neural nets to say transformers. Each leap required the questioning or questioning of the fundamentals. And I mean, this even shows up in business models. I mean, Amazon asked the question of, do we really need inventory at all? Netflix asked, what if movies didn't need DVDs? I mean, these are all examples of stepping back, stripping away assumptions and starting fresh. And here's the thing I really want you to keep in mind. You don't need billions of dollars to use this train or thought of thinking. First principles thinking is a skill and anyone can master that skill through practicing. So I'm sure you're thinking, okay, well, Tiff, how can I apply this? Let's make a concrete step-by-step -step plan. Step one, identify assumptions. I want you to write down everything you think you know about a problem you're trying to solve. Step two, break it down. What are the raw components, the things that are undeniably true? Step three, rebuild. Start fresh using those truths. Ask, if I were designing this from scratch, knowing only these facts, what would I do? Step four, test and iterate. Even if your new idea doesn't work, you've uncovered insight most people will miss. Let me give you an example. Say you want to start a business. The assumption might be, I need an office. Break it down. Do you really need an office? What's the fundamental truth of needing an office? You need to serve customers. The office is just one way. Rebuild, maybe a distributed team, maybe remote first. I mean, when you think of it that way, all of a sudden you're lowering costs and scaling differently. And this is just an example of so many. So here's the really big takeaway I want you to leave this video. Systems thinking, which we talked about before in a video, helps you see things how they connect. First principles thinking takes it a step further. It helps you rebuild those systems from scratch. It's really the difference between making something slightly better and making something slightly different. And that is why most innovative companies, I mean, the most impactful entrepreneurs or individuals in tech, or most powerful technologies as well, are built on first principles. So I wanna leave you with one more thing, one more thought. What is one assumption in your life or work that you've never questioned? And what happens then if you break it down first to its first principles? I'm really curious to get your take on this. I think it's such a great way to think when you are solving technical problems, when you are studying for an interview, or if you're an entrepreneur and you want to really continue to build out a business Take a step back, apply the steps or the strategies I shared with you today and see what you come up with. We're so trained to just take what we are given at face value, but when you strip it down, like that Lego, Lego example, it gets pretty fascinating. I'm so curious to hear your thoughts on this. Leave in the comments and let me know what other topics you want me to cover. I'll see you all soon. Thanks everyone.